Hello everyone, Criminal Archer here, and welcome to Hellion. Hellion is a new space-based survival game that is coming out tomorrow, February 24th. It's very unforgiving and very detailed. I've played with it for about an hour just to try and get some basics under, under my uh, belt, and it is brutal. If anything, I think it may be too brutal, but we'll get into it. It's got space ba it's got like um in ship stuff, it's got out of ship stuff, it's got Newtonian physics, it's got like proper floaty stuff going on. So we're gonna just try and go to here. Hang on. It's updating. But we'll dig in. I'll do my best to show you what I what I can see. And we'll uh yeah, we'll uh we'll have some fun. All right, we're in the game. Um, I started a new character. We've just come out of this this pod here. Uh, the basic premise of the game is, is that this is a failed... This We're in a, a star system, and we're part of the survivors of a failed attempt to colonize the system. And so now everybody's sort of every man for himself, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so what do we got? We've got our information about the little pod we're in. We've got gravity... We've got atmosphere, we've got air quality, we've got temperature. You can see air filtering and pressure regulation are in standby, so we need to get that stuff uh, turned back on. So let's do that. I've, I've done a little bit, so I know some basics of what I need to do here. You can see the air generator is not turned on. It's now in standby because I just turned it on. Air, air filter we'll put in standby, and we can't put on standby because it's missing two of these little filtery things. So we're going to back out here, and I know we have a few filtery things in here. So I'm going to grab one of these, because I also know that this place over here is where we find them. And um, part of what I meant by how unforgiving this is is that nobody has shown, no, nothing tells you that you have to do this. Now part of that might be because the game is coming into early access, and as, you all, as we all know, um, Pre before games are finished in early access, they they're missing things like tutorials and whatnot. So we got this now, and so you can see that that's now there, as in standby. All right. So, but we need to turn the power on still. So let's go over here to the power station, and we'll turn our, we'll extend our solar panels, power up. We've got optimal sun coverage, so it'll take them a second to actually deploy on the outer outer of the pod. Then it should come on. Yep, there you go. Power's on. Turn our battery on. Capacitor's also a battery. So, there you go. So the power's on now. Lights are on. And this is like, you know, artificial gravity here. But you can see they've got all kinds of things here. Like, so this is the life support access node thing. So if you click on this, it opens up and there's stuff that you can interact with. Assuming parts, you know, parts break over time and all that kind of stuff and there's you know this is we've already been in here but there's a servo motor an air processor we open this up we got some spare servo motors this is the air generator which of course also has other things to to do as well yeah so it's it's involved it's an involved game that's for charging stuff up let's interact with this here we have, we have, the only thing we have in cargo right now is oxygen and nitrogen, it looks like. Um, but yeah, but we're in the, the very basic bay right now, so there's not much to see. Uh, if we open this, this is what, med kits? Yeah, small med kits. There's this thing. It's empty, whatever it is. Um, I forget how to... Drop it. Resource canister. There we go. But over here we have our spacesuits. So I was messing with these um, before I started recording. And I'm hoping that we can actually pull this off this time. This is our little jetpack. It has our oxygen and also our um, our. Uh, uh, our uh, RCS, our ability to, to move around in space. So we're going to go out. We need to get... <clears throat> so basically there are two things outside the ship right now. 
There is a spaceship, which we'll use to, to fly around, obviously. There is also a, um, a airlock, a proper airlock, because these right now are just corridors that are attached here. They're not actually airlocks. Um, but we need to go get... Oh, we're in, we're in, in gravity here. Or not in weightlessness. <clears throat> so we need to go get the airlock and bring it back and attach it to the module. Which I tried to do before and failed miserably. So let's uh, let's try it again. So we put on our helmet here. We've got this stuff. Let's turn on our RCS. Which, by the way, I should show you. If you go to the help menu here, so if you're playing, you've got very useful things here. Um... Radar contact list, open and close suit inventory, filter list, chat, radio, reload, drop throw, aim down sights, all, all this good stuff. And there's a lot more other things, so like docking procedure, which we'll need um, soon, hopefully. Uh, stabilize is shift, okay. And then ship controls, which is, you know, other things we'll, we'll need to know eventually. But we're going to have to blow our way out of here. Because this is not, as I said, is not an airlock, so we have to open it, which is going to shoot us out of here. Like that. And we're in space. Alright, so let's use our RCS to slow us down so we don't fly off into the middle of nowhere. Alright, so we need to find module that module so they've got so we need this module which should be there's our ship and the module is behind it you can see it out there so let's go let's go see about getting that thing I'm not going to worry about the ship right now because i'd really like to get the airlock i know the ship is a little sexier but the airlock is more important <laughs> Try to not use up too much fuel. It's got proper like floaty mechanics, so you you just give it a little push and you'll just keep moving as long as, um, as long as you keep you know doing stuff. Go this way a little bit because we're not get really on target with it. Apparently, I'm gonna have to. Really jack it up here for a second. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Come on. That flashing panel on the underside is what we need to get to. So maybe we should do this a little bit. Come on. This takes a, some getting used to, by the way. <laughs> Learning to, to f fly. I'm, I'm still not there. I'm just kind of slowly getting the hang of this. Let's see. All right, so let's see here. Utility access. I think this is what we need. Yep, there's that. And then this is the, these are the controls. All right, so we need to find the ship. There's that. Not the ship, I said, said say the module. So that's the ship. That's the module. It's very touchy. So I'm trying to Bring it back around here. You guys saw the ship, or there's something over there. That's the ship. That's the module. Let's start moving. We're gonna go this way. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can do this before I run out of air. <laughs> Last time I tried to do this, I ran out of air before I could get it attached. I also got myself in a crazy spin. Because I hadn't learned how to stop the spin yet. <clears throat> so, hopefully that doesn't happen again. All 
All right, so I don't know if we're approaching this from the correct side. I hope we are, because it would make the life a lot easier. But we'll see. I think that right there is what we need to aim at. That sort of glowy bit on the corner. There's no automatic docking. You have to get, you have to kind of do this um, on your own. If un I would say unfortunately, but I guess it's kind of, kind of cool to have to do this yourself. I feel like it could get old. It could probably get old pretty fast, though. <laughs> Don't float too far off the target here. Nope, nope, nope. Down. Alright, we're getting there. Come on. No, 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 don't miss, don't miss! Come on, we can do it. Come on. Oh, we missed. We missed. We hit the thing. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Don't float away. Don't float away. Oh no, 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 what's happening? Go down. I'm gonna run out of oxygen here pretty soon. No, no, don't jump around. Why am I getting so out of whack here? I don't understand. I don't understand. Come on, go back. Am I approaching it again? No, it's going further away. I need to go forward. Why are we not going forward? There we go. Now we're going forward again. Oh man, this is hard. This is what I mean by the game is very unforgiving. Like most games, as close as I got to docking, it would have done some sort of auto docking at that point. But not this one. Oxygen low. Yep, here we go. Here we we can't get this soon. I'm going to have to ditch and, and just go back into the ship. Losing it again. Starting to float away again. All right, we're going to have to go back to the ship. All right, I got to go back to the ship. Hopefully this thing doesn't float away too far. But I'm running out of oxygen, so we got to go back. I'm no good at this. As it turns out. Alright, don't hit the ship too fast. Alright, where did we go in last time? Like, where did we come out of? Because I don't really want to go in the other door because we'll just lose more air. Really wish the sun wasn't right in my face. <laughs> Alright, so it's not this side of the ship. It's not that side. Okay. May have to go back in there, though. Oh, it's that one right there. I see it. We're running out of air. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Don't die. 
Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, come on. We're so close. Alright, we're inside. Close the door. Close the door. Alright, alright. Open the other door. Where's the other... Where's the other opener? Ah, so close. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I got to log back in. For whatever reason it kicks you out of the server when that happens. But we'll see. I think we'll see if our bodies in the in the in that uh, entryway actually. I'm kind of interested to find that out. Every other time I died, I died way out in space, and so of course I didn't get a chance to see if we were going to be put in the thing or not. Continue. Alright, so we'll get out of the pod again. And with any luck, our body will be in that thing. Although we're going to have air issues. Open, please. Thank you. Um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I would like to get out, please. Alright, so if we're lucky, there will be a dead body in this air airlock. Which we're going to do this anyways. Interact, please. Why are you not interacting? Whoa, yep, yeah, air is a little funky. We're okay, though. Hey, there he is. I almost made it. Right, go back, please. I want to, I need to loot this dude. It's half in the ship. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Alright, so he disappeared. And we don't have any of that stuff, so he's gone, and our stuff's gone. Oh well, it was a good it was a good try. All right, so uh, I guess next um, next spacesuit. Hopefully, we survive <laughs> to get the airlock this time. So your body sort of stays around. I guess is the moral of the story. Right there is where we would have charged it up if we had survived long enough. But let's go see if we can pull this off the second time. I may end up having to start another uh, another new character. We'll see. You can also open and close this. Like, you can open and close it. Which is what I would have done had we managed to actually serve to, to make it until we were alive. I would have... Um, would have closed that. I would have opened our thing right away so we could get some air. I need my RCS on. Alright, so we gotta close this door. Alright, and now we're gonna lose a bunch of some more air. And... Boom. And we're out. Okay. All right. So, oh god, that module is a kill him over a k away now. No, well, this is an interesting issue. Let's give it a shot, I guess. I don't know how well the stabilization works. Like I'm triggering a a stabilization at occasionally, but I don't know if it stops us dead in the water 
or if it uh, dead in the space, I suppose, or if it just lets us like um, keeps us from spinning around too much. I'm so annoyed how close we were so close to attaching to that thing. Like we were so close to getting it to actually attach and then it, we missed. S bounced off and then we had to do tried to do it again and we failed. And, oh, was, ah, so frustrated. All right. Take 2. No, don't do that. I need this thing. All right, so ship, where are you? I don't really know how to target this thing. All right, I feel like it was over here. Yeah, I have no idea where the ship and stuff is. I don't have any proper targeting as far as I can tell. Stop the spin. Yep, yeah, I think I'm going to end up having to start this thing over again. Start another new character because I can't, I can't find what I'm looking for now. Well, I really thought I had it controlled enough that we could, um, that I could show you stuff this time. Like, I thought I had learned enough that I could pull it off, but I hadn't, so we're going to have to start another new character. Yeah, look at this. We're, we're spinning like a crazy, like a top here. I do want to look at one thing, though. Did I need to prepare the, like, door for attachment or something or was I good they just bounce just gonna look at this we're gonna start a new character next time well because otherwise we'll just die out here but oh, come on oh man it's so hard to fly in zero G So was there anything I needed to do here, or was it just? Yeah, it was just a it was just a matter of us hitting that thing too hard and not being able to attach. So that's how the airlock works. Like there's the, that's what we're trying to attach to the ship. But um, God knows where the ship is now. All right, so I'm gonna stop here. We'll start a new character next time, and hopefully I can pull this off. I might actually even just try and pull it off on my own and not record until after I've achieved it. Um, but I wanted to show you Hellion. It's pretty neat. I There's a lot to the game. Like, I've seen enough of the media of it to see that there's a lot to the game. It's just not, like, it's just, un, it's just brutal. The game is unforgiving. The game is very, very hard and has a very steep learning curve. And I'm excited to get over the learning curve, but for the time being, man, it's... It's, it's rough. I've been through about five or six lives and haven't been able to manage to get this thing to dock yet. So so, so we'll see. Um, I'm excited to dig into it more, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving me a like. It helps out a great deal. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more Hellion or other things in the future. And uh, I am the Chromian Archer. This is an airlock that refuses to attach to our ship. And... I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.